everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have taken a few days break after my last conversation with Scott Ritter because nothing surprising, a lot of hate again, you know, a lot of comments from some Polish viewers who are probably not watching me right now because they normally don't, short attention spam. Uh, but what I would like to ask you again, and this is really important at this moment, this week I might have a very special guest who means a lot to me. And that conversation is probably one of the most important conversations. If it happens this week, um, that will be fantastic. And I'm not sure if I will post the entire video on my channel or just parts of it. So that's why I would like you to join me on Locals and join my mailing list because I will be letting you know also where is the video. And yeah, it's important, you know, some things that I want to talk about might not be um, that good for this platform. However, I will try. We see how this goes. And if it happens, that would be wonderful. So another thing um, I would like to mention is a video that Mike, I, Earl Gray, foreign agent, however you, you would like to call his channel, he posted on his channel on I, Earl Gray. And that's a video that is named Fast Forward to Fascism. Um, it's a documentary around 20 some minutes or so, I believe, less than half an hour. It was very difficult for me to watch this, but I, I've watched the, the whole video. Um, and I would like you to, to watch it because it shows you things that perhaps some of you are not aware of. I will attach the link down below this video. So if you would like to see things that have been hidden or not discussed by Western media much or at all, you will find this uh, video and this link from Mike's channel down below. And I thought today I would like to talk to you about situation with gold in the world in Poland and some informations about economy in Poland. But I decided to take a different road and go into articles about the meeting that took place um, some time ago, not long time ago. Maybe you know about this, maybe you don't. To those of you who don't, this might be quite interesting and helpful to hear about it, um, what has been taking place in Poland. So I will read this to you. There are two articles that I came across. I think I will go with the second one. Um, it has a little bit different genre, I would say, of type of writing here. But that is important what just took place in Jabłonna, which is about 20 kilometers drive from the old town in Warsaw. So it's outside of Warsaw. And what was there? probably some of you know already, um, was a meeting. And I will jump straight into this article. Link will be down below this video. You can translate it. Another article will be there as well. So let's start with this one, which is from Gazeta Powiatowa. And is Congress of the Russian Opposition in Jabłonna. And this will be the first one you will see down below the video, but I will read to you the second one. Titled, Your job is to kill Putin. Report from the Congress of Russian Oppos Oppositionists in Jabłonna. Illustration for propagandists, the killing of Vlad Vladimir Putin and an armed uprising. In Jabłonna near Warsaw, Russian deputies discussed for three days the issue of creating a transitional parliament, which, as they said, would ensure an, a smooth change of power after the fall of Putin's regime. And this describes day by day of this meeting. I will read parts of this. Day one, controversial kill Putin. This is the title of this chapter. 
Cloudy Saturday morning. Part of the local park near Buona near Warsaw has been closed to visitors. In the palace of the Polish Academy of Science, there is a Congress of, Police, of People's Deputies, organized by the former deputy of the Russian state, Dumaria Ponamaryov, Ponamaryov, who emigrated to Ukraine after opposing the annexation of Crimea. The Congress is attended by Russian deputies of different terms of office and from different levels of state power. In the same building, the authorities of the Polish People's Republic and NSZZ Solidarność conducted negotiations in 1989, which contributed to the final collapse of the communist regime in Poland and led to the first democratic elections since the end of World War II. At the entrance to the Palace in Jabłonna, two white, blue and white flags are flying. One of the symbols of the Russian anti-war movement. Tables with black tablecloths are arranged in a circle. They stand in front of the podium on which a white, blue and white flag is also mounted. Most of the participants are men. There are only five women. 51 delegates applied to participate in the Congress, but 26 could not come to Polish due to, due to the restrictive visa policy towards Russians. As Ilya Ponomaryov said in a comment for Wodtak, Poland has chosen, Poland was chosen as the venue for the Congress, among other things, because it is easier to ensure the safety of all participants. Some of them will participate in the online, online event. Some hide their faces and names because they are still in Russia and fear for, this, for their safety. Most of the people's deputies are not widely known, but according to the organizers of the event, a total of over 3 million people voted for them at various times. Among them are well-known former politicians, former deputy of state Duma and former FSB colonel Gennady Gutkov, lawyer Yelena Ukrianova, former deputy of the Moscow Kresnoselsky district Piotr Tsarkov, and former deputy of the Russian state Duma, Arkady Yankovsky. Ilya Ponomaryov opens the conversation with a minute silence for those killed in war in Ukraine. This is the quote from him. I often hear that we have hurried with the creation of transitional parliament, but I think that we are too slow because every day is the death of a huge number of people, said the politician. The whole room briefly gets up. Participants of the Congress are welcomed by Polish politicians. We hope that the people gathered here who unite to fight and who say, and who can say no, will be the support of the changes that will come to the country says Jarosław Chodorowski, the mayor of Jabłonna commune. Adam Michnik, Polish oppositionist of the Times of the People's Republic of Poland and the founder of Wyborcza, is the newspaper, enters the podium in a switch, sweatshirt with the logo of the opposition Russian channel Dusz with the inscription, we will wait. It's a quote from Michnik. I'm sure you are an opportunity for all of us. This is Russia against Putin. This is the real Russia. I hope you don't mind me reading all of this too because it's written in such a way that it paints the picture. The audience applauds. The following spoke, this is important here, Oryeksi Honcharenko, a deputy of the Ukrainian Verk Verknov Verknovna Rada said this, this is the most important sentence probably you hear from this. 
you now have the first task ahead of you to kill the dictator, kill Putin. The second task is to create a liberation army. We will drive the Russian army out of our territory, but that's all. It is in your hands to complete the liberation of your country, said the deputy. Some of the participants of the conversation look at each other in silence and raise their eyebrows in surprise. The hall is silent for a moment. Yelena Lukianova, a lawyer and professor at the Russia's Free University, is trying to diffuse the tension. I would like to say that many Russians bow their heads to all Ukrainians, but as for killing Putin, it should be a decision of international courts, she said. Killing Putin is not only issue that is becoming a subject of discussion. Former deputy of the village council, Nina Bielayeva, ex uh, accused in her telegram channel, Ilya Ponomaryova, that he personally changed the lustration law, which was jointly written by the deputies of the people. The lustration law is a document that gives the transitional parliament the right to prosecute collaborators of the Putin's regime. It also proposes the lustration of all deputies of the state Duma elected after 2014. According to this criteria, Ponomaryov is not subject to lustration. According to Bielayeva, a provision on the abolition of, of lustration for a person who kills the president of Russia has been added to the document. Bielayeva wants to tell the audience about it. One of the organizers announces that Bielayeva has communication problems. She left the meeting. She cannot join, she cannot join again. Well, I hope it's not the sabotage, said Gennady Gutkov who chairs the first day of the convention. And I will end with this here. Bilayeva, the, the one that left the room and was not allowed to come back, writes on her Telegram channel that she was deliberately silenced and is not allowed to speak. And this is the quote from her. I refuse to participate in the circus where a new dictatorship is being built under the guise of democracy. I definitely do not want to live in Russia, which is built on the principle of excluding an alternative point of view. So first of all, I want to apologize for not pronouncing this name smoothly, those names smoothly, because you know I actually um, read it like for the second time, but I didn't read it out loud. So I hope you don't mind. But what is really important here, those kind of meetings are taking place in Poland. And there is one Polish um, geopolitical expert, absolutely incredible person as far as knowledge. If you understand Polish, and if you would like to listen to someone who really knows what he's talking about, who I believe also spent many years in Russia, um, I'm, I'm not sure, and I'm sorry if I don't want to do any disservice to this person, but I think he's a professor in one of the Polish universities very highly educated and very aware of the dynamics, um, aware of politics, aware of history of Russia, Ukraine, Poland, of course. And he addressed this uh, meeting in, on his channel. I will post the link to his channel down below this video. His name is Leszek Sekulski, Dr. Leszek Sekulski. I've sent several emails to him asking him to join me for the conversation. Um, maybe he doesn't want, I'm not sure, but that doesn't matter because, you know, I'm not taking things personally. What matters is there is someone who explains things like this in Polish. So if you are a Polish speaker, um, you can definitely subscribe to his channel. The link will be down below this video. I will leave this to you and to your own opinion making. Very dangerous what Poland is doing, right? Um, but it's good to know that something like this is taking place. Please leave the comments down below this video. And like I said in the beginning of this video, 
make sure you join me on locals and make sure you join my mailing list because this week it's a very important interview for me that I will be having, fingers crossed. So with this being said, I wish you all a great week and yeah, talk to you soon. All the links to support me, PayPal, still PayPal, yes, I will change soon. Purchasing my books, Patreon, definitely spiritual stuff goes there is down below this video. Lots of love, everyone, and I see you very soon.